Hello and welcome to this Python challenge called Kings and Queens of England. You will find this challenge on my blog 101computing.net at the address that is now appearing on the video clip. Now for this challenge we're going to write a Python program that will ask the user to enter a year between 757 and today and our program will search through a text file to find out who was the king or the queen of England at the given date. So to use this program we're going to need a text file. The text file is provided here uh, but it's already included into a trinket that is appearing here. Now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and I'm going to resize the font to a bigger font. Here we go. Now we've got two tabs here. We've got our main Python file and we've got a CSV file which is basically a text file um, where we've got a list of all the monarchs, all the kings and queens of England since um, the beginning, so since um, 757 up to um, today. Okay, um, and these monarchs are stored in chronological order um, and we've got three pieces of data per line. Okay, this is why we call this a CSV file. CSV stands for comma separated values. We've got three values per line and they're all separated using a comma. The first value is the date of the start of the reign. The second value is when uh, the reign ends, so maybe the king um, died. And the third value is the name of the king. So our Python program will ask the user for a date and then we'll search through this text file to see where does that date actually fit to return and output the name of the king or the queen at this date. So let's go back to the Python file. Now we've started the code for you. Um, we've got on line 3 to line 7 a welcoming banner uh, with the title of this challenge here. Uh, and we've got our input here on line 9. Now input enter a year between 757 and 2017 um, at the time I made this video clip. Um, now this input is straight away casted or converted into an integer because it's going to be a number. On line 11 we're opening the text file and we're opening this text file in read mode. That's why we've got this second parameter as R, which means we can't overwrite, we can't lose any data from the text file, we're just going to read through it. Okay, and then we've got line 15, which is um, good practice, is once we don't need the file anymore, we close it um, before ending the program. Now, we're missing the main part of the program, um, which is basically where we're going to search for um, which line number is matching um, the line corresponding to the year that was provided. This is called a linear search through the text file. What we're going to do is we're going to use a loop that will check every single line of the text file one at a time, from the very start, from the very top to the very end. So to do so, I'm going to use a loop, a for loop, for line in file. So for each line in my text file, I'm now going to extract the data. Now we know it's a CSV file, so we've got three pieces of data per line. So I'm going to use a variable called data equal and I'm going to split my line, so line.split using my comma, which is used to split the three values in the line. Data is now a list that contains three values and we can access each values one at a time. So for instance, I could say print data zero. This would be the first value on the line. Okay, so that would be the date the rain started. So if I just try this just to see what happens, let's press run, enter a date. It's not going to use it, but I'm just going to enter a date. And all it's done here is that it's looped through the text file one at a time and it's extracted the first value of each line and printed the first value of each line. So 757, 802 and so on. Okay, now that's not quite what we want. Um, what we want is um, we want to extract the start of the rain. So we're not going to print it, we're just going to retrieve it. So I'm going to call it start of the rain 
equal and this data, although it's a number, it comes from a text file, so it's still a piece of text, so I need to cast it into an integer. So I'm going to use the int command. The same way, I'm going to add the end of the rain, uh, which is going to be the second pieces of data on that line. So it's going to be data at position one. Okay. And the monarch will be the third pieces of data. I don't need to cast it to an integer because it's going to be a piece of text. Um, and it is the third colon of the text file, which means as we start with zero, one and two. Okay. Um, and then at this stage, we need to compare the start and the end of the reign to see whether the year provided by the end user is between those two dates. So I'm going to use the if statement. If the year is greater or equal to the start of the rain and the year is lower or equal to the end of the rain. So basically if that year um, matches the time where the monarch was um, actually king or queen. In, if that's the case then I'm going to print the name of the monarch which we've already extracted from the from the line. And that's pretty much it. Now that should work. I'm going to try this. Enter year between, I'm going to try year 1900. And this was Queen Victoria at that date. Okay. Now when I run this code, um, though it's done it and it worked, um, it's still highlighting an error here where it's not being able to extract the end of rain for one of the row and we've got here invalid use of int um, on a value called to date. Now this is um, just because on this text file here uh, if you look carefully the last line I've got from 1952 to to date I put Elizabeth at the second. So I'm actually going to change this value because it's struggling to cast this value to an integer. Um, because at the time I'm making this video, we are in 2017. I'm going to put 2017 here for my program to work and be able to extract all the data. So let's try this again. Here we go. And we could actually try to see whether we get Elizabeth II uh, in 1980, for instance. Yes, perfect. So this program seems to work here. Um, this is what we call a linear search because what we've done here is we've opened a text file in read mode, we're extracting one line of data at a time. Because it's a CSV file, we've got to go through that extra step of extracting each field from the line by splitting the line into a list and then extracting each value of that list, data 0, data 1, data 2. And then the second part of my linear search the first part is the for loop. The second part is the if statement to see whether this line is a match. And if it is, then I can output um, the name of the monarch. On our blog, if I um, go back to the blog post, we have a test plan just to make sure that it fully works. So what we've got here is we've got different values that will return the name of the king. On some dates, we've had up to two kings. Um, possibly when um, one king passed away, the successor uh, became king straight afterwards. So we could actually try that our program is going to output the name of the two kings. We even have a date here where we've had three kings uh, on the same year. So possibly like um, this one had a very short uh, period of time uh, on the throne. So let's try uh, this one just for the sake of it, but you will have to try all of them. Okay, and by the look of it, there was no king in year 512. So let's try uh, one of you of these here just to see if it works. Um, 1016. And effectively, I've got three kings being outputted here on that specific date. Okay, that sounds great. So I can actually conflict my test plan here and say that this uh, passed. Okay. I'll let you try all of those um, dates just to see that your code is working. Um, and then you've got an extension task, which I'm not going to complete in this video clip here, but I'll let you have a read through it. Well, thanks for watching. Have fun coding.
Bye for now.